The DF-41, also known as the Dongfeng-41, is one of China's most powerful and advanced intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, representing the peak of the nation's strategic missile development. Built by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, this missile is designed to strengthen China's nuclear deterrent and ensure it remains competitive with other major world powers like the United States and Russia. Officially entering service with the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force in the late 2010s, the DF-41 is considered one of the longest-range and most lethal ICBMs in the world today. This missile is a solid-fueled, road-mobile system, meaning it can be transported on large transporter or erector launchers, allowing China to move it across various terrains and deploy it quickly. Its mobility makes it extremely difficult for adversaries to track and destroy before launch, providing a significant strategic advantage. Compared to earlier Chinese missiles, the DF-41 is faster to launch, easier to maintain, and has a much greater operational flexibility. The DF-41 is believed to have a maximum range of approximately 12,000 to 15,000 kilometers, enabling it to strike almost any target on Earth including the continental United States, Europe, and other strategic regions. This immense range ensures that China can maintain a credible second strike capability, meaning it can retaliate with devastating force even after absorbing a first strike from an enemy. It is also designed to carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs. This means a single DF-41 can carry up to 10 separate nuclear warheads, each capable of striking different targets simultaneously. This MIRV capability dramatically increases its effectiveness and makes it extremely difficult for missile defense systems to intercept all incoming warheads. In terms of design, the DF-41 uses three stages of solid propellant, which gives it a quick launch capability compared to older liquid-fueled missiles that require lengthy fueling times. Solid-fuel missiles can be kept in a ready-to-launch state for long periods, providing an advantage in terms of rapid response during a crisis. The missile is housed inside a protective canister during transport, shielding it from environmental conditions and allowing it to be fired directly from the launcher without requiring complicated setup procedures. The transporter erector launcher vehicle for the DF-41 is a massive 16-wheeled truck, purpose-built for carrying the missile over long distances and through rough terrain. This high mobility means the DF-41 can be hidden in remote areas, moved along highways, or concealed within tunnels and shelters, making it extremely difficult for enemy satellites or surveillance systems to detect. Such mobility ensures that China's nuclear arsenal remains survivable under any circumstances. In addition to road mobile versions, some reports suggest that the DF-41 might also be deployed in silo-based and rail-based configurations, further complicating enemy targeting efforts. Rail-based missiles, in particular, can be moved across thousands of kilometers, blending in with civilian rail traffic, while silo-based systems can be heavily fortified to resist attacks. This multi-platform deployment concept enhances the overall survivability of the missile system. From a strategic perspective, the DF-41 is not just a weapon, it is a statement. It signals to the world that China has the ability to match or exceed the nuclear capabilities of any other major power. The presence of MIRVs on the DF-41 means that even advanced missile defense systems would be overwhelmed in the event of a large-scale strike. For example, if an enemy were to intercept one or two warheads, several others would still get through, ensuring devastating damage. The guidance system of the DF-41 is believed to use an advanced inertial navigation system, possibly augmented by China's Beidou satellite navigation for improved accuracy. Estimates suggest it has a circular error probable of just a few hundred meters, which is more than sufficient for nuclear warheads to destroy hardened military targets, major cities, or critical infrastructure. The combination of range, accuracy, and payload capacity makes the DF-41 one of the deadliest strategic weapons on the planet. China's decision to develop and deploy the DF-41 also reflects its desire to maintain a credible nuclear deterrent in an era of evolving global threats. With the advancement of U.S. missile defense systems and the modernization of Russia's nuclear arsenal, Beijing saw the need to ensure that its own strategic forces could not be neutralized in a surprise attack. The DF-41 addresses these concerns by being mobile, hard to detect, quick to launch, and capable of delivering multiple warheads over intercontinental ranges. 
In military parades and official displays, the DF-41 has become a symbol of China's growing technological and military strength. Its appearance sends a clear message to both domestic and international audiences that China is determined to safeguard its sovereignty and national interests with the most advanced tools available. While the actual number of DF-41 missiles in service remains classified, estimates suggest that several brigades of the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force are equipped with them, forming a crucial part of China's strategic deterrent. In the broader context of global security, the DF-41 plays a role in maintaining the delicate balance of power among nuclear-armed states. By ensuring that China can retaliate decisively in the event of a nuclear attack, the DF-41 contributes to the concept of mutually assured destruction, a doctrine that, paradoxically, has helped prevent major nuclear wars since the Cold War. However, its deployment also raises concerns among other nations about a potential arms race, as each major power seeks to improve its own nuclear forces in response. The DF-41 stands as one of the most advanced ICBMs ever built, combining mobility, range, speed, and destructive capability into a single system. It is a product of decades of research, engineering, and strategic planning, aimed at ensuring China's place among the top global military powers. Whether seen as a necessary tool for national defense or as a driver of nuclear competition, there is no doubt that the DF-41 will remain a central figure in discussions about global security for years to come.